Jennifer Lopez and Owen Wilson. Can I get a wow? Wow! Huh. You're amazing! I love the movies. And I think I've made that quite obvious by the fact that I record reviews like this. Go at least once a week, etc., etc. I see a lot of movies and consume a, a lot of media. And they give a lot of movies a chance that I normally probably wouldn't. Uh, you look back at like Movie Pass. Gosh, I arguably, I think, like everyone abused the hell out of it. But now I settle for Regal's membership thing and, you know, go a few times a week, blah, 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 or a few times a month, whatever. I go quite often. And so I gave this movie a chance. And honestly, having J-Lo in it was enough to get me to go. In a rom-com with Owen Wilson as your duo? Hey! <laughs> wow. You're like normal. I'm going to try to avoid any spoilers, but it's a rom-com. The whole structure of the movie is known before you even grab your seat. Jennifer Lopez and Owen Wilson meet in some unusual circumstance, and as you can guess by it being a rom-com, begin some attempt at a romantic engagement. Pretty standard stuff. Um, but what wasn't standard was the amount of annoying breaks in normal scenes just to be an advertisement for Facebook Live? You want to talk about breaking the pace and overall feel of a film? Well, I get the point of them, I guess. It's a modern attempt at... No, no, I take it back. I don't get it. And I, I, don't, I don't get it, and I don't think most people got it. It was their attempt to look like what actually goes on in society. Maybe people recording our Facebook Live or Instagram Reels or whatever people record for. But my gosh, was it disjointed and an awful attempt at being unique. I mean, I truly would be you know, involved in a scene them cut to some annoying snippet of here's this person's character point of view but look over here at facebook live and this person's recording it and look at this and it's streaming to a thousand people it's not once it's several and it truly took me out of the point where it was an annoyance every time and it was a, it, i don't know how it was signed off on let's talk about the characters um it definitely could have been developed more. This was probably intentional. I mean, I'm hoping it was. Obviously, the main characters were developed well. But I felt like there was a little bit more to John Bradley or Sarah Silverman. And honestly, maybe even a little bit of Maluma could have been a little bit more. But it's a rom-com. To be honest, they can only be so good. But I will say that this rom-com was a good one. In the grand scheme of things, I mean, it was good. First, I love the quick intro. The plot was succinctly laid out, allowing the main story to be the majority of the movie. I, I really appreciate that. Um, and I think they did it well. I've, I've, like I said, I enjoy this quick intro and allowing the main plot to be 90% of the film. And I hate these long, drawn-out introductions that really feel like they're not setting up characters. Um, they're not really setting up the plot as much as they're just buying time so that they can have a two-hour movie. But Mary Me did a good job with their introduction. All in all, I mean, Owen Wilson and J-Lo both felt reasonably developed. You have a reasonable background, and it was pretty straight into it. Second, let's let's talk about the actors. I was actually pretty surprised by the above average performance from almost everyone, especially Owen Wilson and J Lo. 
I don't think they're known for real quality films, but this felt solid. As for their, uh, you know, respective friends in the movie, um, Sarah Silverman and uh, Michelle Bateau, Bato, they played their incredibly annoying roles too well. Um, like in any rom-com, the obnoxious friends, you know, were obnoxious. And I think they delivered pretty solidly on that. And we also have to highlight, uh, you know, John Bradley. He's doing the best he can. I mentioned it in my other review of Moonfall. But John Bradley's just John Bradley. Uh, everything outside of Sam Walt Harley, I think, is going to be really hard for him. Um, but he did, he did a decent job. But I think we got to give a ton of credit to Maluma. Um, for those who don't know, he's an incredibly successful musician. But he had some pretty decent acting chops. I guess he is a full-time performer in his career, so maybe that helped. I also want to talk about the chemistry between J-Lo and Owen Wilson. It's not that bad. I mean, they don't... You would never see them as a couple and think, okay, that's real life, but I don't, I'm going to be honest, this movie did a decent job. I think they played off each other pretty well. But for two people, you know, kind of on their way out of the industry, I couldn't really ask for too much more from them. Overall, I gotta admit I enjoyed it more than I actually anticipated I would. You know, sure, I had faults with it. it it's, it's to be expected. Um, this isn't Harry Met Sally. You've got male Groundhog Day, you know. This is J-Lo and Owen Wilson, who are over 50 years old now, and not hopefully, that's rude. But, you know, maybe their acting careers are coming to an end, so. As a self-proclaimed movie critic, this movie is a strong five. I might be a little inclined to give it more than that due to the lack of rom-coms that we really see, I mean, outside of the late 90s and early 2000s. I mean, do we really see any romantic comedies, especially in theaters? I know that's basically all of Hallmark, but we don't see anything on TV anymore. Or on the, in the theaters, I apologize. Related to rom-coms. Um, so I feel like that five to six range is a fair judge of the merit of the film. But personally... I think I'm going to put it in the, you know, 6.57 range. I, I actually in, enjoyed it. You know, if they were, if this was a date night or you know, something just quick with a, someone you're interested in or married to, just an SO, I think you would have enjoyed it. It requires little effort, entirely enjoyable. But it's a rom-com at the end of the day, and that's really what you're going to get out of it. So, of course, that'll be it for this one. Um, catch me back here next time. Probably going to change the pace from Moonfall and Marry Me. Um, who knows what we're getting. Maybe next time will be Robert Pattinson and Zoe Kravitz in the movie of the year of the Batman.